Okay, so first we'll open up our examples. We'll go to the robotics folder and we'll start with the starter kit uh, example to be used on the actual robot. So if we open up the starter kit roaming project, you can see I already have it open here. And the roaming VI, we'll take a look at the block diagram. And you can see here it sets up the physical robot, connects to the FPGA, gets everything ready. And what we'll do now is we'll pause and we'll go back to the Project Explorer to open up the simulated version. And in Cognition, you can open up the Roaming Simulation VI. And that VI has some extra features here, some feedback that you can actually get from the simulated robot. And if we go to the block diagram here, we can start comparing them. And you can see that if you go to the roaming, um, the actual starter kit roaming uh, VI here. So here is where the robot is connected in, in the actual robot, the physical uh, starter kit robot. And in the simulation, the actual robot is simply an open command which connects to the simulator. And the launch robot sim uh, button, which is on the front panel, will actually determine if you should open the sim when this VI is started or not. And this will actually connect to the robot and create a, um, a robot pointer, which essentially lets you control that simulated robot within the VI. So we'll move into the internals here and compare the differences. So the simulated has an update sonar step, which essentially every step it uh, takes in the new angle that it should turn the uh, servo that the sonar is mounted on uh, in the simulation and also gets the distance from that uh, reading and sends that off to the rest of the, the VI. Uh, if we go back to the um, the real one, so if we go back to the real one, you can see that it does a reading, it gets the new angle, it sets it in this, um, this VI here, and also gets the output. So that is the equivalent to the update sonar. So that's the equivalent to the update sonar right here. And if we move on, everything else is basically the same. And the other things that need to be changed, you can see there's some simulated uh, VIs here. And the actual VIs we have setting the velocity, it's combined into uh, left velocity, which sets the value here for the wheels. And in the simulated VI, we have the left velocity and the right velocity separated out and you set them each individually and we just have some extra feedback for the front panels you can display it there so here's where the simulator is setting the velocity every step every time step through here and this will control the robot in the simulation and finally for cleanup after the entire VI is done there's a close VI which essentially will stop the robot in the simulation and clean up any any uh, ports or anything that it has opened just basically general cleanup and the equivalent here in the for the physical robot is the stop motors and disconnection there. So that's uh, the comparison between the two. Now we'll actually just go ahead and run this uh, this VI here. We'll go back to the front panel. So here's the simulated VI. If you can see that launch robot sim is uh, highlighted, so it is it is active. So we'll launch the sim. So we hit play. The, um, it'll start trying to get feedback, but of course there's no robot connected, so we'll have to wait for the simulator to actually have a robot that it can get feedback. So now we've loaded the sim, and you can see that uh, Danny is on the floor ready to go. Uh, if you have the demo version, that will be set up. Um, if you have purchased the sim, it'll simply load up a blank uh, screen, and you can load whatever project that you'd prefer to load. So, uh, alternatively, you can also have the sim running first and we'll just hit play here. Uh, play means that everything is going to start taking place. Physics will actually be enabled, um, collisions will happen, and the robot itself can be controlled. So if I hit play, you can see everything settles just slightly. Uh, if we go back to the front panel and simply hit play here, what will happen now, uh, even though the sim is already selected to launch again, it won't launch twice, it'll only have one instance at a time. And so we'll just hit play and Danny will start driving around.